Let's read a story for today about Lean's math test. Lean studied hard for her math exam to get a high score. She got 90% correct from a 30-item test. How many correct answers did she get? Now, let's identify the percentage, the base, and the rate. If you're going to have this as a problem, you can have what is 90% of 30. That 30 is the total number of items of um, Lean's math exam, and that 90% is what she got correctly. So, for if you're going to identify the percentage, base, and the rate, the base is the 30, that's the total um, items. For the rate, it's the with the percent symbol, which is 90%, and the missing is the percentage. Now, again, how to find for the percentage of this given problem? Now, again, when you say percentage, it is the result of finding a certain percent of a number. With this given triangle, what you're going to do is to derive a formula to find for the percentage. Now, if P is the missing or the percentage is missing, then if you're going to hide this P. It leaves B and R. And that B and R, you're going to multiply that. Now, for the formula, if the P is missing, we have percentage is equals to base times the rate. So, that's the formula in finding for the percentage. Base, that or the total number of items, or the total or the whole value, multiplied by the percent. Now, let's answer the problem using the formula that we have. We have P is equals to base times the rate. We know that the percentage is missing because we, in here in the question, how many correct answers did she get? That is a part of the 30-item test. And she, she got 90% correct items. So for the base, we have 30 times the rate, which is 90%. Now take note that you cannot multiply percent. Therefore, this 90%, you need to change it into a decimal number. And that 90%, to change it to a decimal number, the decimal point is at the end of each number because if it's a whole number, the decimal point is invisible at the end. From the decimal point, you move two places to the left. One, two. Therefore, the decimal point now or the 90% becomes 0 0.9 or 0 0.90. Let's put 0 0.90. And that's the time that you can multiply the base and the rate, which is 0 0.90. So 30 times 0 0.90, we have two zeros, and this is 9 times 3 is 27. Now count the decimal point from the, or decimal places, 1, 2, so to get the product from the, at the end of the number, we have 1, 2, the answer is 27. Therefore, Lynn got 27 correct answers out of 30 then that is 90 percent now next let's have more examples we have find the percentage in the given problem we have what is 75 percent of 100 okay so the missing there is the percentage and our base is 100 and our rate is 75 percent using the formula we have p is equals to B times R. Again, if the percentage is missing, the formula that you're going to use is P is equals to base times the rate. And for the base, that is 100, multiplied by the rate, which is 75%. And again, you cannot multiply right away if, it's a, if it is a percent. You need to change into a decimal point. By how? So again, what you're going to do, remove this percent symbol, put the decimal point at the end of the number since there is no decimal point in between. So the decimal point is at the end of the number. Then move always two decimal places to the left. Therefore, the 75% is equal to 0 0.75. Now you can now multiply and find for the percentage. So we have 100 times 0 0.75. 
zero zero five zero zero seven okay zero zero five seven and count the decimal places one two one two therefore the, the percentage or the answer is 75 is 75 is 75 percent of 100 next we have what is 40 percent of 80 so the missing is the percentage so we the formula p is equals to base times the rate and um, for the base that is 80 for the rate it is 40 percent so again what are you going to do is to uh, remove the decimal uh, the percent symbol a uh, decimal point at the end move to decimal places to the left okay so um, it becomes 40 if you're going to convert 40 percent to decimal number it becomes 0 0.40 or 0 0.4 now why did I just um, move to decimal places where did it come from so basically 40 percent is equals to 40 over 100 and to change it into a decimal number you need to divide 40 divided by 100 so since you can't divide you add decimal point add zero then you divide this is 4 and then this is 400 okay zero and then you may add another zeros here but it's the same 0.4 you can divide 0.4 or, I mean, you can multiply 0.4 or 0 0.40. It's the same. Even if you put add different more zeros here, the value is still the same. So we just use 0.40. So multiply 80 times 0.40. We have 0, 0, and that is 32. Count the decimal places. 1, 2. From here, 1, 2. The answer is 32. So, 32 is 40% of 80. That's why I just moved two decimal places, by the way, here so that um, I don't need to divide and do it manually. This, this I've mentioned that this is a shortcut way by just removing the percent symbol and moving two decimal places to the left. Because if I divide it, the answer would still be the same by moving it two decimal places to the left. So, that is the percentage. Next. What is what number is 6.5 percent of 200? So again, what number is 6.5 percent of 200? Now for the percentage, it is base times the rate. The base is 200, and the rate is 6.5 percent. Now, 6.5 percent. What you're going to do is to move. I mean, remove the percent symbol. And since, as you can see here, here is the decimal point between 6 and 5. It's in between. You have to move two decimal places from the decimal point. Count 1, 2. Here is now the decimal point. Since this is empty, you add 0. Therefore, 6.5% when you convert it into decimal, it becomes 0 0.065. Then, let's multiply 200 times 0 0.065 I put 0 0.065 on top um, of 200 because it's easier for me to multiply um, 0 0.065 times 200 if the 200 is the is, is below the 0 0.065 I can just multiply once here so 0 0 this is 10 this is 12, carry 1, this is 1. Okay, and I'm finished. Unlike if I put it, put the 0 0.065 below the 200, then it needs to, there's a long process. Now, but anyway, it's just the same. Even if you interchange, whatever is your uh, multiplicand and multiplier, the answer will still be the same. So commutative property of multiplication. Then count the decimal places, 1, 2, 3. So we have from here, 1, 2, 3, therefore the answer is 12. 12 is 6.5% of 200. You may not put decimal point and then zeros here. You can just write 12 as a whole number. It's the same. Next. 
what is 5% of 135? So using the formula, base times the rate, so, since percentage is the missing, the base is 135, and the rate, since it's 5%, remove the percent symbol, the decimal point of 5 as the whole number is at the end. So, move two places to the left, 1, 2, okay, move the, uh, add zeros for the empty place value, okay, put decimal point, uh, put zeros here that, to indicate that there's a decimal point here, so we have 0 0.05. So multiply 135 times 0 0.05, 25, 32, 17, 31, that is 6. You may not add the, multiply this 0 because it's still 0 here. So all you have to do is count the decimal places, 1, 2. So from here, 1, 2. The answer is 6.75. So 6.75 is 5% of 135. Next, what number is 200% of 75.9? So still the same percentage is the missing. Because we need to know what is the 200% of 75.9. So P is equals to base times the rate. We have 75.9 times the rate, which is 200%. So 200%, we need to remove the percent symbol, move the decimal point. The decimal point of the whole number is at the end move only two so even if this this number is there are four digits five digits three digits or two digits always two move two places to the left one two therefore now the rate is two or you may just it is 2.00 or you may just put two it's the same so you multiply 75.9 times two this is 18 carry one 11 carry one 15 Count the decimal place, 1. From here, 1. Therefore, um, the answer is 151.8. So, what number is 20% of 75.9? It is 151.8. As you can see, it is bigger than, the percentage is bigger than the base because it asks for more than 100% or it asks for 200% of that 75.9. So again, the formula in finding for the percentage is base times the rate. And for the rate, since you cannot multiply in a percent, if, there, if it's a percent symbol, you need to move or you need to change into a decimal number by moving two places to the left from that decimal point.